I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the null function on this HP 419A DC null voltmeter. What's unique about a null meter is it has a internal bucking power supply or voltage source that can be used to set to counter and offset the input voltage to create a near infinite input impedance so it can measure very small voltages on high input impedance sources without affecting the reading. It will have no bias input current or effectively no bias input current to affect the reading. This is this was especially important back in the 60s and 70s and even in the 80s people using standard cells that you couldn't draw any current from to measure or compare the standard cells. Um, any any current that you, that you drew from them, one, affected the life of the standard cells, but two, would affect and alter the voltage. So what I have here is a Ian Johnson PDBS2 precision voltage source. And then I have it in series with a one mega ohm resistor shunted with a 100 ohm resistor to give me a 10,001 uh, voltage divider. And then the voltage then uh, from there feeding a Keithley DMM7510 in the most sensitive range of 10 microamp full scale. And then back to the 419. And you can see right here I have it set to zero. You can see it reading zero. So I have the meter running on uh, battery power right now. And uh, we're here battery test. So you're showing 25 volts, which is fine. I just replaced the uh, the mercury 1.35 volt mercury uh, cell in this that was long dead, and I replaced it with a lithium CR123A um, and a series 2.7K resistor, which brought the uh, voltage down just to the right point. And uh, those batteries are 1.5 amp hour. I measured this. Uh, the current draw on that uh, battery was about 650 uh, nanoamps, no, 650 microamps, sorry, 650 microamps, so it'll run for thousands of hours of actual use um, with, uh, without uh, going dead, so, and those batteries are plentiful found a nice little holder put in there. It's a, anyways, it's a nice little solution. So I'm gonna demonstrate here using that. So being this is a 10,001 divide by ratio voltage divider, we're gonna set this for seven volts, hit enter. You can see I'm basically drawing no currents, measuring just some noise about, oh, what is that? So that's uh, gonna be uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's picoamps. That's 13, three, 17, 18, 21, 30 picoamps, not much. So now let's go over here to voltmeter. We can see it reading, since this is seven volts input, 10,001, that comes out to, on the one millivolt scale, 700 microvolts, darn near at least. But now we're drawing, so it's one, two, three, it's 6.5 or 6.6 .6 nanoamps, 6.6 .6 nanoamps of current bias current, which, by the way, they happen to put in here. It also makes it a, a uh, current meter. So on the 10 scale nanoamps, 10 amps full scale, it's reading 6.5 nanoamps. But let's just, let's go ahead and hit this set null. Okay, then we'll use this to calibrate or create the offset voltage. Offset the voltage. And we'll look over here at my amp meter, or in this case, pico amp meter, we're showing about 100 pico amps. Let's see if I can fine tune that a little bit, get that down a little bit, no wrong way. 140, 130, 120, 90, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. That's pretty close to zero. That's measuring just a few tens of pico amps. So we have it nulled out now. Now we read the null voltage. Now we're reading the same voltage we were before, just shy of 700 microvolts, but check out our input current. If 
bias currents down to zero. It's just measuring some noise and the couple tens of picoamps. So this is reading the null with the null offset. And if I click voltmeter again to take away the null offset, watch what happens to our input bias current. Should come back up to about six and a half, six point six. So it doesn't sound like a lot of current, but it uh, it can be under the right circumstances. It certainly can be. So, anyways, that's the beauty behind the null function on one of these meters.